Hey lovely people out there in the crochet world. This is Tasha from Stardust Gold Crochet. Welcome to the Saturday Stitch Explorer tutorial series that I have every Saturday. Well, most Saturdays. I skipped last week. Sorry guys. But I'm here to make it up with this beautiful stitch that I came up with and it's called the Florida Lee Stitch. Or I was thinking of calling it the Saint Stitch. Um, because Florida Lee and the Saints, like the New Orleans Saints, you know, or Saints like in the Angels, however you want to do it. But I really love it. I think it turned out great. It has um, pineapple stitches mixed in with some basic stitches. So for a beginner, this would be a good stitch to kind of up your game a little bit. And if you're um, intermediate or advanced, I don't think you'll have any problem working this stitch. So to start off, I started with a foundation single crochet row. I'll put the link to the video. Um, if you click the little I button, I should be right about there. Um, that'll give you um, how to do it. So once you finish that, then pause the video here and then come back and we can get started on the stitch. Also, I should mention, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. This yarn is I Love This Cotton by Lion Brand. And this is called, I'm sorry, it's 24 seven cotton by Lion Brand. The yarn that I'm using for the tutorial is actually, I love this cotton. Because I love cotton, you guys, I just love cotton. So grab your hook, grab your yarn, pause the video after you do your foundation single crochet, and then we'll get started on making this beautiful stitch. Thanks for being here. Okay, so this would be our row one, and the written pattern will be on my blog. The links for those are down below as well. Let's get started. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Okay, so to start row two, we chain one, and then we're going to turn our work. I hurt my thumb too, you guys, so my nail polish looks kind of funny. But um, and then we're going to single crochet two into the first two stitches. So go ahead and single crochet two. Then we're going to chain three. We're skipping two and we're going to work three single crochets into the next three stitches. And here's where we do our repeat. We're going to chain three, skip two, and single crochet three. So we chain three, skip two, and single crochet three. So chain three, skip two, and single crochet three. So pause it when you're finished with this row and then we'll come back. And when we reach the end, you should have four stitches left on your hook. So we're gonna skip the two and then do a single crochet in the last two stitches, one in each stitch. So there we have our row two. And you can see it creates these little holes, which is what we're gonna work into for row three. And row three begins with a chain one and a turn. Then we're going to do a half double crochet into the very first stitch. Chain one. We're going to skip the next single crochet. And here we're going to work a pineapple stitch, a single crochet, and a pineapple stitch into the chain space. So a pineapple stitch, you yarn over once. We're going to do a yarn over. We're going to do a a three repeat pineapple stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space. Yarn over and pull up a loop. That's our one. We're going to repeat that two three times. And so you should have around two, four, six, seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first six yarn over and pull through two loops and that completes your one pineapple stitch. Then we're going to single crochet 
try to make this one kind of tight close to the I kind of pull it down a little bit and then do one more pineapple so you have seven on your on your hook pull through six then you yarn over and pull through both so there we've created two pineapple stitches which are going to be the bottom part of our floor de lis so next we're going to chain one then we're going to skip one single crochet and work a half double crochet into the next single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and then we're going to do another fleur-de-lis so that's our repeat there you do the fleur-de-lis chain one half double crochet chain one skip you know chain one skip half double chain one skip and then work the fleur-de-lis again pineapple so yarn over once insert your hook pull up a loop kind of pull it to the level of your working yarn pull it up you want to keep the tension kind of tight like this so that these don't get bunched up in an odd way which they do sometimes and I'll show you an example of that so let me find that one that I did that was kind of funny looking well maybe I can't find it or maybe I ripped it back but if you don't some of these oh here we go here it is sorry see that right there that's what you don't want my tension was kind of um, funky okay back to the pattern so single crochet I'm gonna zoom out just a tad single crochet and then do another pineapple stitch so then we chain one skip one half double crochet chain one and then we're doing our fleur-de-lis again so let's pause the video finish out your row and come back and then we'll start working on row four all right so we're here at the end of our row three and we still we're still going to chain one we're going to skip the single crochet and work a half double crochet into the very last single crochet or the very last stitch of that row so for row four go ahead chain one and turn and row four starts out with a half double crochet into the very first half double crochet of our row which it's a little tricky to get into and I'm not really sure why that's happening but it is so we do a half double crochet then we're going to half double crochet into the chain one space and do a half double into the top of the pineapple stitch and then we're going to work our pineapple stitch into the center of the the two which is a single crochet right here so we're going to do one pineapple into there And we continue working half double crochets and then we're going to work pineapple stitches into the center of each little pineapple cluster from row three and then the rest of them will be half double crochets so a half double into the chain space into the actual stitch of a half double from the row three and then into the chain space again into the top of the pineapple and then we're going to work another pineapple into the center of those two pineapples from below and that's the repeat guys so do your half doubles and work into the chain one spaces when you do them and then work into the top of the stitches when you get to the half double crochets and then pause the video get your row done and come on back so for the last few stitches here you see we have three I'm going to work um, finish the half double crochet into the floor or the pineapple stitch 
work one into the chain space and then work one into our final half double crochet like that now when we count the stitches here we should have 31 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 30, and 31. So our next row is row 5. We're going to chain 1, turn it. We're going to do a single crochet in the first 4 stitches and then do a decrease over the next 2. So do a single crochet, 1, 2, three and four and then we're going to work a decrease to bring our stitch count back down to 26. So insert your hook in the first stitch, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three. So we've made turn two stitches into one stitch and then you're going to count four more, one, two, three, four, and then do a decrease, which is a single crochet, two together. And we're working our decrease into the fifth and sixth stitch when you're counting. So here, where did my decrease go? I think there it is. So I've got one, two, three, four, and then we work it over the fifth and the sixth stitch. Decreasing really isn't as difficult as um, it seems to be at first. It, it was kind of scary at first, and I thought, oh, how do you do that? But it works great if you're trying to bring down your stitch count. And we do that five times, so we're reducing it by five stitches. And then here we go over the last two and then there's one stitch left that you'll single crochet into and now we should have 26 stitches again so let's count them 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 yay so this is your pattern and this is the repeat so you repeat rows 2 to row 5 until you reach the desired height that you want your project to be. And um, it's a flexible stitch. I will list the multiples um, in the pattern as well on my blog so you can know what multiples to use. Um, and if you're not familiar with multiples, what it means is, um, for instance, if you wanted to do a certain stitch, it was multiples of eight plus one, which means you'd need to chain that many to start. I just chained 26 and I will list those multiples on my blog. So head on over to the blog and hit that little bell button if you haven't already to subscribe. You'll get notified when I post a new video. And it's really great. It'll go up in your notifications instead of your email. And also, um, if you haven't already, subscribe. All right, guys, leave any comments below or on my blog. And I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Please tag it, if you will. Um, either the um, hashtag Saints Stitch or hashtag Fleur de Lis Stitch, and then I can see what you guys make with it. I think this would be great to make blankets and just it has a lot of um, potential. Not really sure. Leave the comments below. I want your ideas. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Happy crocheting! <laughs>